Portuguese picnic is usually a culture that we've been having for generations. Um, it's been here since the 1920s. It's really a, to put together what the Portuguese community does and what our traditions are. The folk dancers will be here tomorrow, the Portuguese music. We cook all the old traditional Portuguese food, the beef stews, the tripes, the linguiça, and really bring the families together. It's really a family event in our community. You know, a lot of things that are tradition that we like to keep up in the community. And also it's, um, it's a fundraising event as well because we do put things on throughout the year. We have a Portuguese school that's held here Monday through Friday so the children that are born in the United States can learn Portuguese because their parents are Portuguese so to educate them in the Portuguese culture. And we do have a soccer team that we sponsor. So we have a lot of things that the funds go towards. The committee is elected in January and through the year we have several events but this is definitely our biggest event and we just everybody's got a part in what they need to do get the bands get the folk dancers get the beer get the you know just put everything together but it is a whole year of planning my involvement is i'm here having a good time with my sister it's just about the portuguese people about the armenians the polish and the irish and everybody else to come to this fest that's what it's about it's about uh, traditions of all kinds coming forward and getting together one time just having fun just celebrating the heritage of the community <laughs> Every year we elect a mayor from a different community because the Prospect Heights was made up from the Draper Corporation and Drapers hired a lot of people and they were a mixed breed of communities. They were Portuguese, they were Italian, they were Armenian, they were Polish. And so every year they pick a mayor from a different culture to represent that culture. And then we have the parade tomorrow. The mayor will come through the parade and wave his top hat and all that. Well, I uh, was born and brought up in the neighborhood. And um, of course, uh, being a Portuguese ethnic group, I've been part of this all my life. You know, I grew up in the neighborhood. We've had this, this club was uh, founded in 1918. And they've had picnics ever since, consistently, year after year. And it's part of the overall uh, culture of the, of the neighborhood. And as part of it, um, uh, another group that I belong to, we call them the Mayors of Prospect Heights. Each year, one of the ethnic groups in, in this area, there were six of us, six ethnic groups, elect the mayor uh, for the year. This year it happens to be a Portuguese mayor, but this is the 53rd year that we've done this in conjunction with the Portuguese picnic. They've been very good in supporting us in our activities, and we help with infrastructure, things in town, outreach activities. And uh, this is just a great uh, cultural event that everybody in Milford looks forward to, whether you're Portuguese or not. It's just uh, you know, going back to your roots and trying to carry on some of the traditions of the old country. So for everybody, it's a great time, and we welcome everybody to come and enjoy themselves. We get the talent, just local talent, and there's other communities that have the same type of events. So with that, we do go and listen to the bands and, you know, reach out to them. And we try to have a different band every year. Like our folk dances tomorrow are from Norwood. We have our own folk dances here in town. But we have a group that's coming from Norwood. Last year we had one from Connecticut. So yes, no, it's, it's everybody coming together. With a big smile. <laughs> people enjoy the most, especially tomorrow, it's really a family day. What they enjoy the most is the, the traditional folk dancing because the little kids are dressed up in costume. And, you know, it's hot and they're dressed up in costume and they do a wonderful job. Favorite thing? I think it's Sunday, um, watching all the dances and everything, so. Uh, tonight is my favorite night of the whole event because the music and so many people come and it's, the environment's awesome. Every year. And, and on Sunday there's like the folklore dancing and that's just good for her, that's good heritage. <laughs>